Hey everybody, it's Brooke. Long time no see. Life has just gotten crazy and busy and with a graduating senior, things have gotten away from me. At any rate, I am still working in my new Fobo and I thought I'd do a flip of the first week of April. And I just have this feeling that I've done this already. So if this is a repeat, I apologize. Just move along. Nothing to see here. But I couldn't find it on my own channel, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so this is my golden treasury of poetry that I'm using for what looks like uh, April and May. I think it's going to get too fat after that, um, and after that um, just ridiculousness with my last Fobo junk journal. I'm not going to overstuff it, she says. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But at any rate, so let's just jump in. This was my new book, and it is a book that my friend Samantha McNeil gave to me. It was hers when she was little, and it was her very favorite book, and it was falling apart. And when she gave it to me, and I started deconstructing it, I realized that it was illustrated by Joan Walsh Angland, and she was my absolute favorite when I was about eight or nine years old. She um, made dolls and paper dolls and all these things from her illustrations, and I was a huge fan. I actually still have my friend dolls from when I was little. Um, and so that made this book extra special for me. So what I did was just put in my usual fabric pocket. There's, it's a double, so that I could stick in bits and pieces and um, some stickers, and I've got some just some uh, bits that I printed off that I can use in here and they just live in here. Usually what I do is use scraps from when I print uh, either stickers or photos and use the scrap paper to put in some extra doodahs and um, print them on the scraps. So this was the title page of the book or the inside of the title page and I used that and then this is my April page with pockets and I had my date circles in here, but I've used them all up. And then just some bits and pieces of things I did in April and didn't end up using the ephemera, so I'll probably use it somewhere. And this was the first of April. It was Easter Sunday. This page is one of the interior books of the page, and it was just sort of this old yellowed paper that I really liked. And I ended up painting it and decoupaging a napkin from our Easter dinner on it. We've got the date circle and the temp and the moon. This is a picture of the lovely children getting their Easter baskets such as they were. And that flips down and there's my whole darn family and all, everyone that was here for Easter, which was nice. It was nice and quiet. And I just talked about the day and realized that this was the first Easter that ever that we hadn't colored eggs. Even the Easter Sunday that I woke up blind in my right eye, we had colored eggs and I hid them and the kids found them before I went to the hospital. So that was kind of weird. All this growing up stuff is getting on my last nerve. Then the next page is, uh, I should probably get something to cover this up, huh? Let me just grab a piece of paper. Here we go. That way it's not so sensory overloadish. This page is the back of that nice yellow paper and I just did some zentangling and I drew this little emblem that says the house of love for wayward children established 2018 because it seemed like we had tons of kids just coming and going and staying while their parents were out of town or there was our exchange student so that was just kind of a little joke. So I drew that in there because I felt like drawing and some more zentangled borders and just sort of um, talking about some of the things that happened during the day. And the next page is um, parchment paper, coffee dyed parchment paper. And I love how it looks. I like how the title came out and all the, oh, got a glare there, it looks like, there we go. Um, all the lettering and everything, I like how it looks. And that day, Mark and I went down to the beach. That would be the nice old man, shh. I ratted him out, don't tell him. Uh, we went down to one of our favorite restaurants down at the beach and had breakfast and a little day drinking and I made the uh, photo into a pocket and just put a receipt in there and um, stuck in a business card from where we went. If you're ever in Old Orchard Beach, JJ's, yeah, they make great food. 
and that flips over and I um, use some of this gorgeous Tim Holtz ticking fabric. I think it's ticking fabric, sort of. Anyway, and I sewed a fabric flap on there and then I made a pocket over this new yogurt that I found. I don't think it's really new, but it was new to me. And um, it was delicious. So I made a little tuck spot right here. And actually that tag is supposed to live in there. It was the fourth. And I used these Project Life cards and just journaled about what had been going on. It was sort of disjointed. So having separate journal cards worked out really well. Um, there was a fire uh, down on our street. That building was hit by lightning. So that was a photo of what was going on and some journaling about that. And the fact that we used to have a Shaw's uh, Dunkin' Donuts in our grocery store. And I went in one day and it was there. And I went in the next day and it was a wall of bottled water. It was very <laughs> disconcerting. But so I journaled about that on the back of that card. And this was just talking about the weather and the day and some more journaling on there. So those live in there. And then I got that little pocket that I made on the yogurt lid. So that was the fourth. And the fifth is an old topographical map that I found at a flea market. Oops, I'm trying to get centered there. And I gessoed it and had it ready to go and then forgot to use it. Oops, how like me. So um, I'll do something there. I'll do a collage or I don't know, a something. Then the next page of that is uh, my Zen Tangly Girl. And this was the 5th of April. Yeah, 5th of April, two inches of snow, it stuck. I used my own stickers that I painted, the flowers and the Hello Spring. And those are available for free as a download on our web, on our Facebook page, rather. If you're interested, just go help yourself. And I punched a border along here. This is still the topographical map. And that flips down for some journaling. And my Zentangly girl, I was kind of um, anxious that day and doing some Zentangle worked out for me. It always makes me feel better. Not that great at it, but still, you know. Next page is April 6th. And again, uh, just did my date circle and talked about the weather and the temperatures and the moon. And the background page was a bag, but I didn't need anything. I didn't have any need for sticking stuff in the bag, so I just ignored it. Um, Victoria has this crazy cactus in our kitchen window, and I can tell there's a glare, but I don't know if you can see this. It started out, when she bought it, it was dyed orange, and it's been growing out green, its natural color, and I noticed that day that it had grown a heart, and I thought that was so cute, so I put that picture in, and that was the first night of uh, the Thornton Academy spring musical crazy for you so I put a ticket in there and then the next page was April 7th and that was Victoria's first day at Dickinson's candy store she was so excited and again that's the back of that bag didn't have much to put in the bag so the bag's empty but it was nice to have it in case I needed it and um, this is a tag that just slips in behind the photo I used the photo as a pocket and then put matted our receipt from IHOP and stuck it down there. Did the date circle and the weather and just made a little flag out of some scraps and a piece of lace. And then I made this tag on my Cricut that just has journaling about the day on it. And that slips right in there. And then I guess we'll wrap it up for the, on the 8th. Um, Sunday the 8th was Victoria's last day at Color Guard. It was so sad. So I made a tip in out of the schedule for the day and just tipped it in right here with washi tape. Made a photo collage of some of the pictures. None of the pictures came out very well because it was my phone and obviously they're dancing and moving, so a lot of blurriness. But I used Photoshop to go in and um, colorize. I turned it black and white and then just colorized Victoria so she stands out a little. Did some journaling on here. Uh, this is another picture that I stuck in and it flips over and there's another picture on the back Glary, but lots of lots of places for journaling used a little edge punch there that folds over That's a giant picture of Victoria again I turned it black and white in Photoshop and just colorized her and her flag because that was amazing I don't know how she throws it that high and still catches it 
then this is the back of that schedule and this is the original page that was in the book which is actually an old scrapbook page from I think a 1940 scrapbook one of the kinds where you used to slip the photos in the pocket corners um, and I just cut it down and stuck it in here and I reused the photo corners out of that person's uh, scrapbook because I think they're really cool looking so I just did some journaling on a piece of paper did some more photos of Victoria and her team a little bit of lace trim I love these rosettes this is um, Hobby Lobby and a little bit of tulle because her skirt was all tulle underneath and that was the 8th so that's about it for the 1st through the 8th of April sorry that it has taken me so long to get here but I will come back with more flip throughs of my new Fobo I love this it's my poetry Fobo and again I haven't decided if I'll do anything on the front but stay with me we'll figure it out so thanks so much for being here. It was great to talk to you. Uh, all of our information will be down below, where to stalk us on the internet. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you don't miss any of our hijinkery. And definitely go check out the Facebook page. There'll be a link down below for that too. And um, like us over there, follow us. You never know what's gonna come up for free. All right, thanks so much you guys and have a great night. Bye.